Hey guys, what's up? So this is gonna be a video where we are talking about the game pack that's coming up for The Sims 4. I kind of like doing these videos where we discuss different aspects of The Sims, uh, well, more recently The Sims 4. I didn't really do these too much with The Sims 3, just cause the games would come out, was already out and whatever. Um, but I did a few videos before The Sims 4 came out where we just kind of discussed like what we wanted in the comment section. I talked about it on the video. And I want to talk about the game pack that's going to be coming out for The Sims 4. So this isn't an, an, an expansion pack. Obviously it has a bunch of stuff that's going to be added into the game. So it like technically it is an expansion, but it's not a full on expansion pack. They're calling it a game pack and it's going to be $20. So it is cheaper than the expansion pack. Um, but I was reading over it on their website. They did a little uh, news release and I just kind of tried to find what I could on Twitter uh, from Sim Gurus and the Sims Twitter. So I have something. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. So the first thing I did was read what was on their little news release. So I have that here. So how they kind of describe the game pack is similar to the Sims 2 stuff packs. So if you played Sims 2, you know what a stuff pack is. Uh, I was kind of younger when The Sims 2 was out, like I was a teenager, so I didn't always get that stuff. I usually just <laughs> asked my parents for the expansion packs because that's usually what I wanted the most, um, rather than just like, yo, get me all of this stuff. Because The Sims, like it or not, it, it can get quite expensive to get all of the stuff that they offer. I mean, you have um, store items, you have these game stuff packs, you have the actual expansion packs. And so that's, it, it adds up. I mean, it's not a cheap game by any means, unless you just plan on, on getting the basics. So yeah, I mean, in the Sims 2 day, the stuff packs were basically clothing, hairstyles, furniture, and decor, and they were usually centralized on a main theme. But for the Sims 4, what they're going to be doing is adding on to those stuff packs. So their game packs are going to have gameplay. There's actually going to be a new world. Um, this game pack is called Outdoor Retreat. So is it called Outdoor Retreat? Did I just make that up? I'm pretty sure it's called Outdoor Retreat. It is called Outdoor Retreat. Sorry, I knew it was called Outdoor. And then I was like, wait, no, it's called Outdoor Falls. But the world's called Granite Falls. So I just kind of mixed those up in my head, whatever. Uh, I've corrected myself. So they're going to be adding on the world factor and um gameplay possibilities. And then you're also going to get, you know, new clothing, new items, all of that stuff. I'm decor. Uh, what am I for clothing? Did I say clothing? Yeah. You know, hairstyles, clothing, furniture, decor, all of that handy dandy Sims 4 stuff. Uh, they also say campfire songs, weenie roasts and bear costumes. Uh, what else do we have here? I want to make sure I don't forget anything, but I mean, to me, it, it, the main picture there is they're camping. They're at the campfire. It looks like there's going to be camp songs that you can sing. Of course, the weenie roasting. Um, there's a cooler. It, it looks like, you know, kind of a camping excursion, if you will. And one thing I did want to talk about, though, is I I've worked as a community manager for various games. And typically when we would write something like a news release, the wording is very specific. And I saw people asking if you would be able to live in Granite Falls. And I don't know 100%. I, I mean, I don't want to just take my own experience and assume the writers for The Sims are the same way, whoever writes their news releases. But I'm guessing it's pretty similar. So they do say you'll be able to visit and explore Granite Falls. And I'm going to guess that that wording is, it, it means that. I'm guessing you're not going to be able to live there. But then in this trailer that I'm going to play for you guys in a little bit, uh, it showed some houses in the world. So they kind of give you a sneak peek of the trailer they're releasing next week for Outdoor Retreat. And there are houses. Uh, now, if these are rentable houses or you can actually live in them, we don't know yet. We do not know yet, but it, I mean... The news thing says visit and explore. And just to me, that seems more like world adventures where you can go there and live. Well, you could get a house there too. Man, I don't know. So, I mean, they haven't revealed too much about the actual world, how large it's going to be. Uh, I mean, <laughs> probably has a park. I think we can all assume that. Probably be like little camping spots. And given that they have tents, obviously, I think we can all assume you're going to be able to sleep there and, and spend however long you want there. Well, maybe not however long you want there. Maybe it can only be a few days, 
but I'm guessing you'll be able to sleep there considering the tense. Uh, they also released a teaser for the trailer on Twitter. So let me pull that up. All right, so here's the trailer. You're going to hear a little campfire song and you're going to see the bear costume. Let's see. All right, teen sexual themes. Oh, everyone's favorite in violence. There was an eagle. All right, here's a little bathroom, camp bathroom. We got a bear. He's got surrounded by bees. All right, there you go. There's a campfire. They're roasting weenies, and the bear was there. So I'm guessing you can wear the bear costume. I think that's a given. I, I could swear, and I couldn't find this today, but I could swear I saw a sim guru say that you could, like, the bear costume, you also see it kind of when you're not controlling who's wearing it. So it might just show up or um, maybe you can hire it. Like, I, I, I could be getting that wrong. But I swear I saw something. I swear. Like, do you guys remember? I think it was Sims 1 where <laughs> it was definitely Sims 1. They had the cake strippers. And then every once in a while, you get a big gorilla looking lady or man. And they would strip. Well, they wouldn't strip, but they dance for you. Those are hilarious. I wish these were bear strippers. But if they're not bear strippers, it's okay. Um, <laughs> then I also saw this on Twitter. Someone asked if there was going to be a new aspiration in nature to go with uh, insect, insect hunting. And Sarah grew... Uh, Sarah Guru Sarah, Sim Guru Sarah, said there is a new outdoor enthusiast aspiration that is tied to insects, herbalism, and uh, fishing. Reward is the new survivalist trait. So there are some new things there. Uh, I wonder if there'll be a new career. I don't think there were, I, I didn't see anyone saying anything about a new career. I wouldn't be surprised if there's not. I, I don't see how it would really fit. Uh, this seems more like a vacation sort of thing. So, yeah, anyways, that's all the stuff I found on this. I'm sure there's more. You can explore the internet and find a little more information. Uh, but let's talk about game packs to start off with. So I want you to talk about this in the comments. I'll be looking at the comments tonight and seeing and maybe discussing with you guys uh, what you think. So when I first read that news thing, a lot of comments were, I really hope this is worth it. I hope this is worth the $20. Uh, again, like I said earlier, The Sims can be a really expensive game. And I think people are, are you know, <laughs> there's only so much you pay for that before you're like, I don't know, is this a cash grab or is this worth it? And since this isn't actually out yet and they haven't given us a ton of stuff yet, I think people are questioning, is it actually worth the $20? And I also think that depends on the sort of Sims player you are. Some people just want the expansion packs. They're not interested in all the fluffy duffy stuff or, you know, they get their own creative content online. So, again, I think it depends on what kind of Sims player you are. Like, do you want everything? Um... Do you have a disposable income? Also, I mean, I want to. I mean, you you got to question if you're gonna buy a twenty dollar game pack that might not have, uh, might not be as big as an expansion pack. If you're gonna starve the next few days, I don't know if it's worth it. Then, uh, I know I'll be getting it, and I will do a video. What I kind of want to do is I wanted to do um, kind of scripted video, funny little machinima or like acted out scene uh, to show basics of the game pack uh, outdoor retreat and we'll see if we, I do that I want to do it <laughs> we'll see if it's like you know if I can make it work uh, but I'll also do a video where I kind of go over go over everything that's in the game pack um, but yeah I mean I, I saw a lot of people questioning if it was worth it and I think a lot of you might that I think that's something a lot of people would bring up is if it is necessarily worth it. You know, are, are they going to give us a few items or is, is this world going to be big enough? Is it just going to be some small little thing? And there's a lot of, there's still a lot of what ifs. And again, they're releasing their trailer soon. So it might really surprise all of us. Um, I know I would like to see more, but we'll see. I mean, when I saw people saying that, a lot of them were also bringing up like, hey, you know, this is cool. We're totally down for game packs, but we'd really like to see, you know, expansion packs that we've come to love. You know, we wanted pets, we wanted toddlers, we wanted all of these things in the base game, but they weren't in the base game. So now we kind of want um, the Sims developers working on these aspects rather than maybe, you know, something like this where we'd be more willing to wait for something like this game pack. I saw a lot of that too. 
And, um, you know, who knows, you guys, maybe that bear ate the toddlers. It could happen. So, yeah, so far I've seen a lot of people that are excited for it, but a lot of people questioning like, hey, where's the expansion packs? Hey, we'd prefer some of these aspects we thought we would see in the base game. We'd like those uh, in an expansion pack or something. Uh, oh, also, I, I thought I saved this um, tweet, but a sim guru did tweet that there would still be free content like ghost careers. Um, well... I don't know what they're going to add on with ghosts, but uh, they mentioned ghosts. I don't know if they just meant like we've already given you the free ghosts, but they did say there will still be more free content um, as well as, again, paid content. But Sims has always been really big on paid content, so I think we all kind of expected that. It's not a surprise. I'm really curious about the expansion packs. I'm really curious about the expansion packs. This game pack stuff is exciting. You know, it's really exciting, but I would hope for maybe an expansion pack around now. And maybe that's asking a lot. Maybe they're going to blow us away and release like huge expansion packs, which would be awesome. If that was the case, I would wait. I would wait longer for an expansion pack and I would be happy with game packs in between. But I think people are still really curious to see how The Sims 4 is going to develop over time and what the expansion packs are going to be like because we haven't seen one yet so we can't really judge it and then also the game pack it's not out yet we can't judge it um, we only have these sneak peeks to s kind of guess how it's gonna go i mean for all we know the game packs are replacing the expansion packs which you know i don't know if i would necessarily mind something like a smaller um expansion pack that's just twenty dollars, but you still you get like a new world, and that might like maybe what if game packs are the new expansion pack? Whoa, blew your mind. I don't think they are. I don't think they are. Uh, but I might not mind that. Like if they were, they came out more often than expansion packs for The Sims Three. You just get these game packs that were you know smaller, but they came out more often, and there were a bunch of different themes. That would be kind of cool. That would be kind of cool. Well, well, we don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure they did say there will still be expansion packs. Like, maybe you guys let me know if I'm wrong in the comments, but pretty sure we s s there's game packs and ex expansion packs. There's all kind of packs. What kind of pack you need? Sims 4 got a pack for you. So, anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Are you excited for the game pack? Are you more interested in seeing wh what expansion packs are going to be coming out? Do you think there's a conspiracy and the game packs really are the expansion packs? Um, are you still sad about toddlers? What do you want? Do you like for me? I think what I would love to see is a bit more of a bit more information on how they plan on developing The Sims 4 over time in terms of extra DLC content. We'll see. Um, let me know, guys. I would love to. I'm gonna love reading your comments. I always love reading them on these videos where we discuss. Uh, different aspects of games. So let me know. Bye guys. Love you.